Hey, how's it going guys? True here, and I'm playing some Rust. I figured I'd play a little Rust. Well, I don't figure. I play Rust all the damn time. But I figured I'd record it. I want to share a couple secrets I've learned. And these secrets are really useful. If you choose to use these secrets, make sure you check with the admins and make sure it's allowed first. But some admins don't take kindly to it. Now, I have not done what I'm about to tell you yet. But I want to show you guys, alright? This is my little base. This is a server I just started on a couple hours ago. Here's my shack, and here's a little one by one I've been building. If you look at these ramps, you see there's spikes under them. That's a neat little trick I've learned. If you're not careful, those spikes to a naked will kill you pretty quickly. And I plan on putting walls up, so the only way you're going to be able to get through is to go through the doorway, and you're going to get spiked a little bit. Now, I have bait up there. It's a little large wooden chest. It's to try to lure people up, see if I can't kill them with my spikes. And it's also a defense. Oh, I might fuck this one up. I need to check. Nope. See, just walking over it, 30 damage. And I have rad boots. It doesn't add much defense, but maybe it would end around 35 damage just walking on it. Oh yeah, it is sticking out a little bit. Alright. Now, that's just part one of this trick. Part two is this. In this game, you're able to stack ramps. Now, you may be saying, true, what do you mean stack ramps? I'll show you real quick. I got some ramps on me. I got some wood on me. So I'm going to make five planks. Come on. It's full craft time, guys. So I'm sorry. It's taking me a little time to craft it. But that's okay. I don't want this video to be short. I want this video to be reasonably long. Alright, so wood ramp. I'm going to stack this ramp with another ramp. Now, you could be saying, what's the point of doing that? The point is they split durability loss. But they don't split durability loss. That you can only break one at a time. That's more appropriate. So, see that? Technically, there is two ramps here. So, if someone wants to get through to my base and they want to break this wall, and they're going to be like, ooh, a ramp, I'm just going to come over and pickaxe it. Well, first, the spikes are going to get them. So, they have to be real careful. I'm, now, I'm not done. I'm going to be putting walls up here. I'm going to make it a little pain in the ass to do. So, I'm going to be adding more to it, of course. I'm going to show you my, I'll show you my final design when I get done building it. Alright? But they're going to need either a bow and arrow it, or pickaxe it down, and not get stabbed by spikes. And now they don't have to break through one ramp, but they have to break through two ramps. And you can't even tell that ramps have been stacked. There's technically no way to know if a ramp has been stacked unless you try to break it. But, I once again, I can emphasize enough, it is a glitch in the game. Please, do not try this on Rust unless you talk to your admins privately to make sure they are okay with it, alright? Cannot emphasize that enough. Now, that's just one trick I have that I've learned. Nice little, it's a neat little trick, isn't it? Freaking wood spikes and the ramps. You run across them, you get hurt. Now, I want to show you not another little trick. This, I am in the forest between Next Valley and Big Red. Alright? We're going to go on down to Big Red, but I can't help it. There's wood on the way. Oh, the wipe is at midnight. Okay. This is just a fresh server. Now, I already have an M4. And there is a large clan on here named CML, and they do have full cav, all guns, and grenades. I don't think they have explosives yet, but they do have grenades, and they have been raiding people already. And thankfully, I might... I'm not really friendly with them, but at the same time, they know who I am. So they're not going to raid me immediately, and they do know where I live, which is t truthfully a problem. But that's where something like ramp stacking is going to come in handy at, because... If I make them spend enough resources, and they're only going to be trying to break into a one by one, they might fucking just say fuck it. But it's doubtful. If I just had one wall blow into, they'd fucking just break in, no problem. But I'm hoping if I put enough ramps up, and make them spend at least had to break through a few walls to get in, it might be more safe. I mean, truthfully, if they want in, they got the people and resources to get in. I hate to say it. Doors are my weakness now, even though doors technically take 2C4, I think it's like 10 to 13 or 10 to 15 grenades, depending what, I don't know. Alright, hopefully the rad animals are here. I want to show you how to control rad animals in Big Red. Now you're like, true, what do you mean control rad animals? I'll show you. I want to shoot that bear. That bear's going to run out and try to get me. No, it's not. It sees me over here. So it's going to come try to get me. Come to this wall. Crouch. The animals will detect me as being outside the wall. 
So, if they detect me as being outside the wall, they will try to go all the way around to get to me. But, using this method, a newly spawned player with just a bow can easily manage rad animals. Which this bear is taking quite a few arrows to kill. This is not good. I hear someone with a gun. Damn it, wolf. Oh, it's right on me. Except if it gets right on you, it'll keep attacking you. That's a flip side to it. That was my mistake. I let him get on me. Research kit. Thank God I need this. I need to get this back. I already have that blueprint. What else? Ammo. I'm greedy, so I'm going to go for this. Alright, I am running like hell now. Alright, I got radiation. The reason I need this research kit, I got M4 back in my house. That I recently found. I want to research that shit. In case I get raided, I can still make it. Ideally, I want to get another research kit and research that so I can start making my own research kits. But I don't foresee that happening. Do I have any health? No. Fuck. Alright, but hopefully... Okay, I should be able to make it back alive. Radiation's not going to kill me. If I run into an animal or something, they might kill me. Or run into another player, they might kill me. That'll just be disappointing. But it's rust. Stuff like that happens. But I figured I'd show you a little fun little facts. Maybe well, y'all can run around with me for a bit. No, have some fun. No, that's what Rust is. It's a game, having fun. And I'm kind this time. I'm making sure it's daylight before I make this video. Because I'll admit... Well, let me explain this other trick, alright? If you play Rust, you know when it's dark outside, you cannot see nothing. Alright? There's a trick. Well, it's common knowledge for a lot of more experienced Rust players. But if you go into your settings on your computer or monitor and turn your gamma up, you will be able to see at night. I promise you, you can see at night if you turn your gamma up. Now, he was saying, wait, the game's not supposed to be like that. No, it is not. You're not supposed to be able to do that. But, you can. So, yay, I can make an M4 now. Yay, M4s. Uh, I got 250, too. F1 grenade? Ooh, could I grab that? I'd rather have that than someone else having it, you know? Put this in here. I'm not worried about sulfur yet. Alright, some more wood. Okay, so. Actually, that is... Not enough wood to finish what I want. But we're going, we're going to do it some part of it anyways. It's close. Where's I can make large med kits too, so I can craft large med kits and M4s. That's useful. All right, let's see here. I can start crafting what I need for my second part of my building. I want them to have to use at least two C4, four C4, or two sets of grenades to break down two walls that they want in my building. I mean, it's not good defense, not at all. It's not what I want at all, but it's a start. It is a start. So, what I'm going to do is this. So, I open the door. Face my foundation. Now, you notice, I have a wooden shelter in my foundation. That's cool, huh? That's very cool. I think it's cool. Now, I'm not doing it on purpose, mind you, but it's there. <laughs> okay, this is. I wasn't really expecting this, but okay. I want to build one wooden wall. Because right now, let me see here. Actually, I might be able to get enough wood from my little tree back here to make my second wall, too. Or my doorway. I can, I can. Okay, cool. Now, I didn't know about this whole freaking be able to build under your shelter stuff. That is new to me. I want to put up a wooden door. Okay, so let's do this real quick.
Put up my doorway. Awesome. Can I still access this stuff? I fucking can. That is awesome. That is really fucking cool. Okay. That is really interesting. So I wonder now, since technically there's a foundation through it. Hmm. That could mean a lot of stuff. That's interesting. That is very, very interesting. Let's finish building this part, guys. You can join me. So, we got that done. So now we need enough wood for a one more wall and ceiling. So that's 40 plus 60, we need 100 wood. Now I said 40 plus 60 because you need 4 planks for a wall and 6 planks for a ceiling. And it's 10 pieces of wood per plank, meaning... Yeah. Math. Be dazzled. What's more impressive is that I know math. That's what I'm more impressed about. I got that right. I nailed that math problem. I'd really prefer to find stacks, which I don't want to take forever. I've actually sat here to finish my ramps and fucking mined 150 wood from these trees. Now, it's about 10 wood per tree, and it's about 10 chops, because you only get one wood per chop. That takes some time. I've run out waste you all this time. And it's not fun. I've run going on a venture to find a stack of wood. A wood node. Which, I'm not seeing any nodes out here. Huh. That's amazingly disappointing. But, on the positive side, we can make an M4 now. And if I die, I'm not really lost losing anything. I got a ton of red boots. Now, if I find the wood I need and then I die, I might be a little annoyed. Oh, someone's getting chased. Oh, someone in leather's getting chased. Okay, I'm going to leave them alone. I think they're just saving ammo. So, yeah. I prefer not to die, so I'm leaving them alone. And running off the way. Ooh, wood. <laughs> wood. Come here, wood. Hopefully they don't try to follow me. If they do, I might be fucked. But hopefully they don't. Watch what I got. Okay, so we're actually close to what our required amount is. So we're just going to hit wood, hit trees on our way. And we're going to head back to our safety of our base. And the reason we're going back to the safety of our base is because... I don't want to get killed by those guys. One's in full leather, or one's in got leather pants and look like a leather hat. And... Okay, we've got enough wood, so I can stop shopping. I see him run straight to my base. Make a wood ceiling, make a wood wall, and we're done. That's really interesting about the shelter, though. So, I wonder if they try to blow in, if the shelter would end up taking the damage first. Hmm. How do I come here? We're going to wood planks times ten. Right, come on down here. We're gonna make a wood uh, wall. <laughs> come on, wood wall. Wood walls are quick. We're gonna place our wood wall as we're crafting our wood ceiling. Just placing that wood wall will make it to where we're a little safer. I gotta be careful. Does it look like disconnecting could be a problem here? Got it. Hello. How you doing, neighbor? So what are you doing now? Thank you for letting me build my house. At least put my ceiling up. You could have been mean and stopped me. Alright, so, guys, we got someone on a roof. 
I'm pretty sure it's the guy that we saw earlier. Why is it half in and half out? Oh, actually, I don't know. I honestly was just building up front, and it just happened. So I'm not going to say no to it. I was able to place the foundation just fine, so fuck it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure since it's on foundation, it won't decay, so, well. I might try something with that. That's interesting. If I could place a shelter, a foundation on our shelter. Hmm, possibilities. Hmm. To make things even more pain in the ass for people trying to raid me. But that's what the whole point of this is. Essentially, I want to make this a pain in the ass to be raided. I don't want people to have it easy. No, if I had to work hard to get the stuff, I want people to work hard to get it from me. You know what I mean? Of course you guys do. But, yeah. That's what I've been doing on Rust lately. Fun little Rust video. I couldn't tell you what server I'm on right now. Can't remember. It's US something. It just wiped the day, so. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time. Later.